Hi guys, I thought I would use this time, I think we're in lockdown 3.0, I'm not sure, um, to give a bit of a vlog update on how I'm going. Um, so I just went back and looked over my last YouTube to see um, what was the last thing I had updated you guys on. Um, and so I'm going to follow on from that. So I did my intuitive eating um, and then I went back and Dan had set me some targets relating to the calories I'd eaten on my intuitive eating. Um, once I spent a couple of weeks tracking again and I went back to him, I'd actually lost a couple of millimoles, um, which was really good. Um, just from going from the not tracking to consistently tracking, the calories are still quite high. Um, so about the 22, 2300 mark. And then from there, he upped my calories again to about the 2400 and upped them again to almost 2500. So about the last three weeks, I've been on um, 24 to 2500 calories, which um, in hindsight, so now I've had another check in. Um, it is a huge surplus for me as I was gaining weight every single week. So in the last month, I've gained a significant amount of weight. So in the last four weeks and body fat. So it was quite a high surplus. And also um, with those calories, um, my fats were quite high. So I think my body, and I've always thought that, um, responds better to a lower fat higher carbohydrate diet so that's what we'll be doing moving forward um, so this is all just more information and data that I can that we can use to help us for the next um, comp prep and then for the post comp prep as well I'll know to just keep my fats on the lower side that's always been better for me um, my body just stores fat really easily so um, highest weight I've been at that I can ever remember and quite a high body fat percentage. So now we've just started a little mini cut. So um, not as dr dramatic and drastic as I was expecting and hoping for, I guess. So he's just dropped me down to 1991. Um, so I'm gonna do that for two weeks and go and check in again. And um, I'll, I could quite happily take another drop from that if he needs me to. Because the idea of a mini cut is to get in and get out quite quickly. It's not like a long, slow, weight loss or fat loss um we want to get in and get out as quick as we can to maintain as much muscle mass as we as we can so i do feel like i have grown a bit of muscle but it's definitely under all that fat there so i'm really looking forward to seeing um what we can see when we take off some of this weight so i will have my check-in with him next friday um so i'll let you know how i go from there um so mini car uh, the idea is about eight weeks, but my body's generally always quite slow to respond. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and at the moment for this first fortnight, there's no cardio, no extra cardio or anything like that. So I'm just sticking to sort of 10,000 steps, um, my strength sessions and my normal workload. Um, check in with him next Friday and see whether we take another calorie cut, whether we do a calorie cut and cardio. I'm not sure, we'll just see how the results go. I'm also tracking my water. Um, so try and improve that. It hasn't been too bad this week and then I'll try and up, up it again. And he's just have got me on some fish oil and some uh, multivitamin um, as my supplements. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's where I'm at. Let me know if you have any more questions for me so that I can go over those. But I will just touch base with you next fortnight and let you know how I go. Oh, I will do. I should also do some before and after photos, so that will be good. I don't really want to see the befores, but I should take them and have them for later. All right, I hope you're enjoying your COVID 3.0 lockdown weekend. It's a beautiful day out there.